In this video, we are going to wrap up this bathroom remodel and we're going to do it right now. So for those of you who have found this video because you need to see how to install a tub or shower sliding door, we're going to get right to that. Don't worry. But before that, I want to thank everybody for following along this series. This is the last episode in a 23 part series and it's been an awesome journey and I had a lot of fun making these videos and uploading them so really appreciate you watching and I showed everything from start to finish so check those videos out if you want and if you want to see a sped up version of all that I am going to make a time lapse of this entire remodel and I'll leave a link in the description over to that video when it's ready it might be ready right now depending on when you're watching this but again thank you everybody for following along and it's been awesome so Let's get to the shower door. Okay, so the door I got is for a tub. This is has a tile surround. I did a custom tile job here. And basically the door has only a couple parts. Uh, it's pretty simple. It has a bottom track that goes on here first. And then it has two side tracks that go up on either side. And then it has a top rail that goes across the top. And then that's where uh, you can hang the glass doors in that top rail. And that's pretty much it. That's all the pieces. So let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna start with the side pieces. And you'll notice that one of these is shorter than the other and the shorter piece is the one that goes up against the wall so it's going to go like this and yes i am going to have to drill into tile um, and then i'll put anchors in there if i had to do this again and i haven't done this in a while um, i've done about 40 of these probably but um, i just wasn't thinking when i did the the remodel I should have put um, some boards in here and then I could have just used screws but instead I'm gonna have to open up bigger holes and if I could line these up with the grout line that would be great but I don't think I can because it would be easier to drill through the grout line than it would be the actual tile but you want these to be evenly spaced on both sides so I think mine's gonna end up going about there but I'm gonna measure and then I'm going to plumb this up with a level and temporarily tape it into place on both sides. Like that. Make sure that smaller end is going here against the wall. Just the same. Okay, I got my two pieces in. And before I go attaching these, what I want to do is cut this bottom track because I want to see where it's going to land and make sure everything's good here and make sure it's nice and even the whole way. The only thing I wanna make sure I do is when I measure this, make sure I push the tape in because this track is a little loose right here. So I wanna make sure that the track pushes up against that. And same thing on the other side. But you wanna put your tape measure right here, push it in and then measure to the inside of the other one. One thing I do want to mention is this tile and this tub are at a 90 degree angle. So I don't have to do anything with shaping this. It is a really tight fit, but um, like one piece tubs and stuff have the lip that goes up at a round edge. So what I like to do is use a belt sander and just belt sand this edge until I get it to sit tight against the tile and the tub. Just make sure that's a nice tight fit before you go any further.
57 and a quarter. So there's a couple different ways you can cut this and I happen to have this really awesome evolution saw. Uh, so I'm gonna use that, but you can cut it with just a regular hacksaw. You can cut it with a sawzall with a metal blade, or you can use a cutoff wheel, like a, a metal cutoff wheel on a grinder. Um, but like I said, I have this saw, so might as well put it to use. All right, got my piece cut and I'm gonna dry fit it. So this flat side goes this way and it sits into that, that channel like that. And then the other side, drop it in. Perfect. So now I'll look down this and see if I like where it is. And I actually kind of feel like I want to bring it out this way a little bit. Maybe make it even on both sides. It looks like there's a bigger gap right here. So that's kind of why I cut it right now. So I can readjust the rails and put everything where I want them to be. Um, basically you can Put it anywhere as long as it's sitting on a flat piece of the tub. So I'm going to readjust all this and get it where I want it to be. Okay, I made sure everything is even from bottom to top. Everything's plumb. I got, I measured off of the back wall actually of the tub this way. Made sure this was even that way. Uh, the, the better you can start out, the better this is going to fit. So it's worth it to take the time to get everything just right, just the way you like it. And I like it just where it is. So now I'm gonna take my special pencil that I made and go in through here and mark each of these holes with that pencil. And this is where I'm gonna have to drill the holes into the tile. There's three on each rail. And if I'm lucky, I might hit a stud, but I'm going to have to get pretty lucky because I think it's a little further away than that. Okay. Now, after all your hard work making this perfect, you're going to want to take your pieces out and put them off to the side so we can drill those holes. Okay, now you can clearly see where the mark is for each of these holes. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not easy drilling into tile. You're gonna need a hammer drill and you might have to wet it down as you go. You know, wet the drill bit, have a spray bottle and keep drilling. Um, the trick is to have really good drill bits. So this is what I got. I'm gonna start with the smallest one and work my way up to this one and you might be spending a lot of money but I'm gonna tell you it's worth it these are the anchors that they give you so they're pretty big uh, you can try and put smaller ones in there or like I said I'm gonna drill with the smallest one I'm gonna see if there's a stud behind there see if I get lucky otherwise I'll just drill with this one step it up to this one step it up to this one and step it up to this one and then finally that one whatever allows me to get that anchor in so I can attach these. Let's do it. Now when drilling into tile, you wanna go real easy. Don't put too much pressure on the bit, especially where this hole is close to the edge. I definitely don't wanna uh, crack a tile. Uh, just a tip, just be really careful when you drill into tile. So start nice and slow with a hammer, hammer drill. Get it started, getting it started is the hardest. Good, that one's 
started. I have a cup of water that I'm gonna keep dunking my drill bit in just to keep it cool. As I go. But unfortunately, there is no stud there. So I'm gonna have to put an anchor in. But I'll drill the rest of the holes with this size and then uh, step it up to the next bit. Now I'm hoping now that I got a pilot bit started, these step up bits will be a little easier to go through. Let's see. Oh yeah. Just basically widening the hole. Perfect. Next step up, quarter inch. Next, 5 sixteenths. Hmm, easy now. Okay, last one, 3 eighths. Just wanna make sure, line up the anchor. And it's good. Here we go. Tap it in. Perfect. I put my side piece on just like I had it before. I use these stainless screws to screw in. Uh, <clears throat> these pieces, rubber bumpers, have to go in sideways like this on the top and bottom, and then in the middle, there's a piece like this. It's also a bumper. I'll put that one in first. I don't wanna tighten it too much, we'll get all the other ones in first. Okay, this side is all set. This is just the way you want it. The big bumper right there, and then the two smaller ones, top and bottom. Now I can do the same thing on this side. And this side is all set. I just left out this bottom one because I'm gonna wanna um, put the track in. So I have to put the track in there first <clears throat> and it's going to end up hitting that. So leave that out and we'll get this bottom track in. So I'm going to take the bottom track and run this strip in here carefully, not to cut my fingers and run it all the way down. Okay. Once that's run all the way side to side, you can cut this. Might have to clean it up with a knife, make sure it's even. Just like that. Now I'm gonna use this DAP Quick Seal Plus. Uh, it's kitchen and bath. This stuff says it fights the growth of stain and odor causing mold and mildew on the sealant. It's got mold guard te technology. So I'm gonna use that on this track. 
of my caulking gun. And it is clear, but it actually comes out white and then it dries clear, which is nice. So I'm gonna run a bead all along. Remember, this is the front of the track. I'm gonna run a bead all along this right here. So I'll have a nice seal. Because uh, we already know that this fits. So I can just seal it up and put my piece in very carefully. I don't want to make a mess with that caulking. Press it down. And if there's any that comes out here, you can just clean it up. Now I can put this screw and bumper in permanently. Okay, so we got the bottom track on, we've got the side pieces, and that's how you drill through tile. If you didn't have to, you're lucky. You can just drill into studs or put anchors in. Uh, now we're ready for the top track, which is right here. And on mine, it's actually reversible. You can have this be the profile on the outside, or you can have this one. And I'm gonna have this one because I'm kind of boring. <laughs> but I think it I think it fits the look in here better. Um, so what I want to do is measure from this wall right here over to here. And then mark it on that piece and cut it. Okay. Make sure this fits, which I have, and it does. And then these things go in like this. So as you go to lift this up and put this on, just put one of these on each end. They call it a T-strap. And that will secure it from lifting off. Say this is towards the shower. Instead of it being able to go this way, this has little hooks. You attach it to the side track and you can't accidentally push this up. I don't think you could do that anyways, but safety first. Nice. So now what you want to do is Hold these like this and mark that hole and then bring this this way, drill it right here and pull that back, put a screw in on both sides. I'm just gonna hold this down, make sure it's down all the way. Hold that piece, mark it and then and you take an eighth inch drill bit and drill that hole. Okay. Not easy getting that screwdriver up there. Okay, here's where you gotta be careful because we're putting the glass in. And we're gonna use these holes at the top. That's where it's hung from. They're the same panel, same size and everything. The holes are in the same place. So these brackets are gonna go just like this. You gotta take this screw out of here and tighten it down here. I would not recommend using a screw gun when doing this. Definitely use a hand screwdriver. Okay, take this screw off here. I'll make sure all the pieces stay in here. There's a little um, grommet right here that needs to go in between here because you don't want the screw to be touching glass. Let me put this here. This just like that. And then put your screw back in with that lock washer. 
You don't gotta go crazy. And then this is the roller. So these two holes, if you need to adjust this glass, I'm hoping that I don't have to, but if you have to, you take this out and you can make the glass go up or down with either of these holes. We'll just keep it right in the middle for both pieces. Now I can put the other bracket on and hang this glass. Uh, two more things to keep in mind is these uh, protective pieces on the corners. Definitely leave those on because if you accidentally hit something with those, this thing could shatter. So you don't want to do that. And there is a sticker on here that says this side is goes towards the inside of the shower because that is coated. And there's a sticker on each of them that show which side uh, goes where. So this wheel is on this side. This is gonna go on the inside first. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're hanging these. Be very careful doing this. Drop the bottom in first, and then hook those wheels right up in that track. dropped into place. Okay, so that glass, there's two tracks up there that the rollers sit into. One, one right here towards the shower and one right here towards the outside. This is sitting on this one and you see the sticker on the other side says this, this side in towards the shower. Now the next one has to go on the other track so I'm going to have to push the bottom of this out a little bit and then lift it up and drop it on to that track. A little nerve wracking, just uh, it would be good to have two people. Uh, if not, just, just be really careful. It might be a good idea to wear gloves and safety glasses just in case you drop it or something, something happens. Um, but yeah, so we'll put this other piece in. Make sure it dropped in on both sides. You good? Now you can take these pieces off. In the center here carefully and then you want to put the center divider in um, goes just like this I'm going to measure to, to find the center of this here and then that's where your center divider is going to go uh, I mark these two holes right here, and I gotta drill those out. Now this is the same eighth inch drill bit. I'm gonna drill this with very carefully. All right, got my holes drilled, and then put my piece in. Line up the holes put my screws in. And again, I would not use a drill to screw these screws in. Use a hand driver. Nice and easy. Okay, now you can take off all the other uh, packing material, all the corner pieces and stuff. And then you wanna just push both of these to each side. Make sure they slide nice and easy. So adjust those wheels if necessary. Otherwise you're ready to put the handles on. Okay, handles installed. 
Um, the handles are pretty much the same. Uh, there's a couple different types, but it's basically um, pieces that go on this side with a screw and clear um, rubber pieces that go on both sides and a grommet in the middle so that screw doesn't touch the glass, just like the rollers. And then typically just has a cap like this. And the only thing you really need to decide is if you want, you know, this handle on the outside over here, or if you want, you know, this handle on the inside over here. You know, it's all preference. This is how I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have this handle here because, you know, to turn on the water, it would be nice and easy to do it like that. And then close that. So, yeah, the only other thing that I want to do with this shower door, looks awesome, um, is on the inside, I'm going to take that caulking and I'm going to run a bead all the way down here and then along the bottom of the track and then same over here and then also run a bead where the tracks meet. And remember that caulking is gonna turn clear once it dries. And I have, you know, a couple little things to do. Plumber's gonna come back, put this spout on, and yeah, the bathroom is done. Wow. So if you found this video because you wanted to find out how to install a sliding bathtub door, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching and to everybody that's been following along this bathroom remodel, thank you. I really appreciate it. Like I said, it's been a lot of fun and um, I'll show you the final product. I got a couple other things to do, but I'll show you the final product when it's done in the time lapse and I'll leave a link in the description and I'll put the video here. You can watch another bathroom remodel video here or when it's ready, you can see the time lapse right here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.